Hey guys, G2 Kingman here. Um, <laughs> we're here to do a AMA for you Reddit guys over there. Um, as you know, we just lost against Envious. And you, as you can see, Dennis is not here. He was pretty sad. Uh, so he went to the, to the hotel, got a headache, and he fell asleep. So, other, the other guys are here to do this, do this for you, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Yeah, the first question is from Easy, and it's what are realistic goals coming into the major, and what we will you do to the make it to the final in the next major? Well. In these measures, I think we we reach, uh, reach our, our goals, but with that feeling, we can be on the final one round only, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, still we feel good about that. And uh, what are we gonna do for the next major? I think we're, right now, us as a team, we know that. Um, we can beat every every team, so we're gonna go to the next major, thinking um, focus focus in in the t in the title, you know, not with the goals going through the group stage and that kind of things. We're gonna play to to win the major, so that's it. Sakadika, Jacob, Jokis. <laughs> okay, another question from Yukis. Uh, it's the rain. What's going through your mind in the clutch moment? Uh, not really that much. Uh, I just think about where, what my opponents are doing and uh, what I need to do to win the round. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Ice cold. Ice cold. <laughs> from Olympio Teixeira. Uh, G2, who's the most calm guy and who's the most emotional guy in the team? Do you feel that you have a good synergy? Uh, the most calm guy in the team is Rain, and the most emotional guy in the team is Dennis. Do you feel that you have good synergy? Yeah, I feel we have really good synergy in the team. <laughs> Not sensible. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, from Hyper Squad Zero, uh, how did you make the sudden change from a team that relies on frags to a professional tactical team? Um, we noticed in our game plan that uh, it didn't work, it, it worked, but uh, in the long run it doesn't work to be only a skill and frag team. Um, you have to have something to rely on, like tactics, strats, etc. Uh, so we were at the boot camp uh, thinking about this and we managed to actually go, come to the idea to, to put some tactical <laughs> rounds in our gameplay, you know? Um, so we went into this major and thinking that people and teams would underestimate us and think that we were only relying on skills, but we changed them. Changed. We made the change, you know, and uh, they were probably shocked how we were playing in this major. I would say. Uh, Next question is from Richard Clemson uh, to G Sport. E2 Esports, were you, surprised, were you surprised with your performance this major or was this plan all along? Uh, we were not so surprised, we were aiming to get top 4, we made that. But uh, everyone played really, really great and I think we showed the entire CSGO scene that we're here to stay. So, that's it. All a part of the plan. From Extremify, was Scream leaving a big loss to the team, something that benefited the team or neither? Um, I would say Scream is a really talented player, a really good player uh, skill-wise, um, but the team play wasn't there and we were looking for a team player in the team. Um, we brought Jacob in and uh, he showed everyone that Jacob is Jacob and uh, he just took Scream's position in the team really good, really, really good. So, I mean, it wasn't a big, 
a big like step down or how to say it negative for us it was more positive because we became a team and not like five individual skilled players. Hi mom. Hello mom. Next question is from Wookie Bookie. Uh, <laughs> Considering Portugal and Norway are far apart, do you guys plan to m on moving into a gaming house? Uh, I don't think we're planning on moving into a gaming house full time, because we are able to practice online without having that much problems. So uh, we are looking into a part time house. Yeah, that we are. But no, no full time gaming house. Question from Citrus Missy. How did you guys feel after losing to Envy after the three match points? I think we all know the, the answer, right? This is that's it's fucked up, and I'm gonna yeah this yeah very bad, very ashamed. Should have won at least one round, um, but I mean. In the long run, the problem was that we got too nervous, too excited. We everyone was talking into everyone's mouth, and we just couldn't win that round. And they were the most, the more experienced team uh, in this overtime and in this match. Um, but next time, we're for sure gonna win that round for sure. Okay, a new question from Archer: How did the second map affect your morale for the final map? After losing the second map, it was the moral was very low, uh, but we are professional, so we uh, need to keep uh, the calm down. And uh, on the last map, they just ran over us. They were they were definitely the better team on the last map, so we didn't have any chance. But it was not because the moral; it was because they were a better team. Another question from Cody Roberts. I'm a huge fan, and this weekend was so exciting. What is the X factor that Jacob brought in to allow you guys to get to the semi. Uh, he just loved the, the pasta from the Italian hotel, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Philip Knutson, one. Uh, folks, how good is your op skills compared to your AKM4 skills? I'm gonna answer that question for you. Fox is a fucking good CSGO player. He has everything to be the best in the world and uh, at that time, I took him to the team. I asked him if he wanted to join. I knew I would get a, a top-tier player that would show the world someday that what he's capable of. And if you saw this tournament, and for all the guys that was hating on him, he just shut everyone's mouth. And look at him now. He's ten times better than every other opera in this tournament. He out up Kenny S, that you say is the best opera in the world. He out up everyone. Just look at him now. He's so fucking good. You see? I told you. Last question is from Rice Online C S Y T. Thoughts during the triple overtime versus Envy? Uh, it was an intense game, but I don't know. I think the most experienced team won the game. That we even showed, like I said before, that we're here to stay and we belong in the top. And uh, Envy's. They, were the, they have done their homework on our cash game, so we couldn't do so much against them. And uh, I think that's it. They were the third team in the third map, so... <laughs> thank you for all the questions we got during this AMA. Uh, and uh, thank you for all the supporters who came out to Cluj to support us. And uh, thank you for all who watched at home, for all your support and your good words. We're really grateful for it. Yeah? Yeah, we are. Thank you guys. Thank you! <laughs>